Hey guys, this is Tamias. Uh, I created the sound bank called Zebranautic Revolution for Urs Heckman's Zebra 2. And I'm here to show you a new bass from one of my new sound banks that I'm working on. And I'm going to show you how to remake it as, uh, reasonably closely as well. Not quite like that. I just I was having fun tweaking the sounds. <laughs> All right. So probably the first thing I did was just initialize it and put it in an FM oscillator. Uh, put it in the. Uh, it's a, this is a method to allow the oscillator to modulate its own frequency with its amplitude. <laughs> And now I'm trying the scale filter, which is a way to basically bump up the, har uh, the dominance of the harmonics in the lower range. So you can already hear it's getting a little bit grittier. Just adding a little bit more movement with more voices and a little pulse width modulation, just a little bit. Actually, you know what, never mind. Alright, now is a good time to start adding overload and distortion. You can hear it's already starting to get even more gritty. Later on, I tried this high pass slash low pass combination filter. Let's change this to legato, just so it's less, it's more monophonic. see what scaling the fill scaling the harmonics down would do. Alright now let's add even more distortion. Gonna get kind of loud. Just add minimal distortion so that it won't uh, clip so much that it just can't, can't get kind of a hiss. Too much trouble. 
you can hear the breakup of the frequencies there. And now we're adding more amplitude self-modulation with the filter FM feature. Instant difference right there. Check this out. Right now it's just draw distortion and now it's pure greenness. to do is add an extra FM layer to give an extra bit of low end power. Oops, wrong oscillator. just for good measure and it's high pass this layer. And there you go. You have a good recreation of the bass sound. Thanks for watching.